Hey everyone, welcome back to another Elder E Monk Reactions. So, happy Spirit Box Day! Spirit Box just released a brand new single called The Void, and that's exactly what we're gonna be checking out today. I'm so excited for this. Spirit Box is one of my favorite bands, you know, if you can if you can tell over here and I know that right now they're on their headline tour which I'm actually going to be checking out this Saturday but let's talk all about that later we need to go ahead and check out The Void by Spirit Box is it me or was that like just like super emo that intro that little guitar riff going in gave me like Senses fail, sleeping with sirens vibes? This already feels so different. Those drums! Oh, we're getting we're getting that mandatory slow down right before the chorus, aren't we? That's like a spirit box staple right there. Right through her butt. Where do my fears go when they die? We get some cleans. To a place under the rain. This is so different. It's the way that you got me to the edge of a hole. Gives me some Lincoln Park vibes also. I hear the call and the voice surrender. But like uniquely spirit box, regardless. Courtney sounds as good as she ever has here. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this. My question though is, are we, are we gonna get down and dirty though at some point in this song? We haven't heard any any harsh vocals yet. It could be here. Are we getting it? Okay. Not what I expected. Liking it though. got such a good groove to it. Oh, they pause it on me. I like that. They got me. They got me good. Loving the drums in this. All right, are we getting it? Are we getting something dirty here? What? All right, guys. So that was Spirit Box with the Void, and let's talk about that song. I loved it, and I don't know if you guys are gonna roast me in the comments for this, but that song felt emo as fuck to me. Um, and I know it's not an emo song, right? It's, it's very much a metal song. Uh, but I feel like there is kind of like those emo influences in there. Like, are we going to get a metal emo hybrid type thing? Kind of renaissance going on here that Spirit Box is going to lead to charge on? God, I hope so. Uh, because that would be super cool. But uh, let me explain myself a little bit here. So Spirit Box, you know, are obviously known for their 
you know, more experimental, more chuggy type riffs, um, and and obviously all kind of centered and, and connected with Courtney's just amazing voice. Um, and then we got, you know, three singles that's part of like an EP, uh, which included Rotoscope, Hysteria, and Sew Me Up. And they completely, well, I'm not gonna say they completely changed their sound, but they definitely evolved and changed their sound to like almost more industrial sounding. Like Mike's guitar was tuned down to God knows what. Um, it was definitely more chug bass. The drums were slow and just focused kind of on that beat, but it was all centered around obviously uh, Courtney's amazing vocals, uh, but it sounded way different. And I know that Courtney and Mike have talked about wanting to evolve their sound, how they listened to Eternal Blue a thousand times. And as much as they love that uh, love that album, you know, they, they want to evolve. They want to try different things. And that's exactly what they did. And that's kind of what I was expecting from this song. I thought that was kind of the benchmark for what new Spirit Box was going to sound like. And they flipped that 180 degrees on me and give me something completely different which is not what I expected but man did I love it right it gave me like I talked a little bit about like the census fail kind of Lincoln Park vibe with that in initial riff how it goes in with the cleans right before uh, during the pre-chorus going into that chorus no breakdowns whatsoever there was a bridge before the final pre-chorus chorus that was you know it's sped up a little bit but was focused kind of on that main melody it was good. It was so, so good. Um, and you know, if you compare that to Rotoscope, you can see how the sound is just completely different. And I think that's really, really exciting. The only song that I feel like I could compare this to is maybe Secret Garden, which also had a, a you know, kind of a, a, a quicker chorus, sounded something like this. And But even then, still completely different. So I'm, I'm very curious to see what the reaction to this is going to be. I feel like Spirit Box fans want this from them. They want to change. They want to be surprised by the songs that they release. Um, I think there may be some fans that, you know, like their heavy shit starting from like, you know, Holy Roller to a lot of what we got um, in, in Eternal Blue, like Yellow Jacket. Um, you know, they, they obviously have some, some heavier stuff. And you know this obviously wasn't that, so I'm, I'm I'm curious to see how they will react to it because again, um, I'm probably gonna name <laughs> the thumbnail of this channel. Did Spirit Box just go emo? Um, which is clickbait as as crazy. And if you guys have made it this far in the video, um, well, hopefully I've explained myself. But you no, know, gotcha. Um, but yeah, this 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 is obviously very uniquely Spirit Box. You know, the sound is amazing. Um, and even, you know, the influences that they may be pulling from, um, they, they just smell them so well. Man, I think this is only gonna get us, this is only gonna be a song that's gonna get better the more and more and more and more I listen to it. I'm probably gonna pick it apart more, just get like maybe be able to process my feelings around it better, know where, you know, kind of what it sounds like. But like I said, this was really good. I, I feel like I'm all over myself right now. My words are just all over the place. Um, so sorry for the video running long. I'm just, I'm really excited for this. This is really cool. I can't wait to hear this live um, this Saturday. So if anyone's going out to the uh, Spirit Box concert this Saturday in Austin, let me know because I'm going to be there. It should be a lot of fun. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Elden, not Elden, at Elder E. Musk. E. Musk, I can't even talk anymore, guys. So please follow me over at Instagram at Elder e Monk, and you can follow up on all of my pictures and videos that I post about the concert and many other things that I like to post about. But uh, let me know what you guys thought about, I'm gonna slow down. Let me know what you guys thought about Spirit Box and the song, The Void. My brain is in a complete meltdown right now. So I'm gonna sign off and I'll catch you guys later.